In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model and design this print in place 3D printed hinge. We'll use parametric modeling features found in Fusion 360 to set the tolerance and to make this print in place 3D printed hinge possible. That way you can make changes to other designs and incorporate a print in place hinge into your projects. First, let's start by creating a component in Fusion 360. I'll label this component hinge part. Then I'm going to create a sketch. I'll click the ground plane to create a sketch and I'll create a center rectangle. Then I'll click on the origin and I'll type 20, tab 20, then enter. Then I need to draw a few more rectangles. So I'll press R and then I'll draw a rectangle out from the top corner and I'll draw a rectangle out from the bottom corner. I'll use the collinear constraints to make both of these the same. Then I'll draw a line from the midpoint of these two rectangles. I need one more rectangle, so I'll start right on this midpoint and then come down to this point. Now I need to make some user parameters so I can modify this design. To do that, I'll go to Modify, Change Parameters. The first parameter I'll make is Tolerance. I'll type TOL. And then for this, I'll type 0.4 millimeters. I can always change this later based on my specific 3D printer. Then I'm going to make pin. Pin will be three millimeters. I can also change this. And then I'm going to make height. So height will be pin plus two. So now I have a height. And again, this can be changed. So let's press OK. This dimension will now be pin plus two plus tolerance. That'll give us enough space for the pin to rotate. This dimension from here to here will be pin divided by two because it's only half the pin. And then this dimension will be three. We could make parameters for this as well, but I think typing that in manually is fine. And then we'll dimension this piece and click right there. So now our sketch is fully constrained. We're ready to extrude. I can press E to extrude. I'll click this profile, this profile, and this profile. I want the direction to be symmetric, and then the distance will be height divided by two. And then I'll say, okay. Then I can reshow my sketch, and now I can make a revolve. And since we went symmetric, this is now perfectly in the center. I can select that profile and then this axis, and now I have a pin and the operation is join. I can now hide my sketch. Next, I'll go ahead and add a fillet to these pieces. So I'll click the fillet command, then click this piece, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge, and I can simply type height divided by two. That way that will update automatically if I change some of my parameters in Fusion 360. Next, I need to make a new component. Make sure you click the top level component before creating a new component. I'll call it hinge part two. Next, I need to create some construction planes. I want to make an offset plane first from this inside edge of the hinge, and I want it to go in tall. So it'll be offset tolerance. Then I want to make another one on the other side, and I want to make it offset tall. So then I can create a sketch right on this plane. I need to project in some items, so I'll press P, and I'll make sure that selection filter is entities. I'll project this in, and then I'll project this, and I'll say OK. Then I can hide this construction plane, and I can edit this sketch. First, I want to make an offset from this circle. So I'll click this edge and I'll offset it tolerance. And I'll say OK. Then I want to draw a circle and I'll draw from this center circle and I can have this go to there and then I'll make this tangent with this line. So that way it's the same size. And then I'll finish my sketch. Now I can make an extrusion. I can press E and the shape I want is this piece right here and the distance is to an object. I want to go to the second construction plane because that will automatically offset tolerance and that will be updated with parametric user parameters. I'll press OK. 
Now I can hide this plane. Next, we need to add more pieces to the hinge so I can construct a tangent plane. Tangent to this face, press OK. Then I can construct an offset plane from that tangent plane. I can go a distance of 20. Then I'll create a sketch on this offset plane and I'll project in and make sure I have the body selection filter. Click that body, press OK. Next, I can go ahead and extrude. I'll click this profile and the distance will be to object and then I can click the body that's round and Fusion will automatically calculate that extra part and make sure the operation is joined. Then I can hide that construction plane and go up to the top level. Now I have a perfect hinge that's ready to print in place with my 3D printer. We can inspect the hinge with section analysis. We'll click this top face and then we can drag this through. So as you can see here, we have our tolerance that goes all the way around our piece. Our hinge will work very well and will never come apart. So hopefully this allows you to design a parametric 3D printed print in place hinge with Fusion 360. Happy 3D modeling and happy 3D printing.